All right, let's tap it out here. All right, make those arms bigger, reach up and pull down. Now we're going to reach across the body. See if you can get a bit of a twist. Take it overhead. Now reach, stretch. Take it across the body again and twist. Good, give me one more. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Okay, march it out right here. Now we're going to kick it out. Just a little kick out front. Perfect. Now add those arms. I'll mention the music up a little bit. Keep going. Now give you two steps. They gotta be little. Hold those arms right here. So you try to keep those elbows together. And a little tap. There it is. All right, if you look like kick, here it is. You gotta raise the roof. Whoop, whoop. Bump it up high. Now give me those two steps. Here we go, in and out. 
those arms from extending. Good. Now, let's go back to our basic right here. Oh, boy. Hopefully you have heavy enough weights that you're feeling it. Yeah, so we got four left. There's four. All right, take those arms out. If you don't have your heavy weights, grab your heavy weights. We're going to go into some squats, and our weights are going to hold right at our side. Here we go. We're going to take it down for two and up for two. So you got your heavy weights just right at your side, like they were suitcases. Down for two, up for two. I got this sing-along playlist today. Good. So remember your first down is kind of that halfway point, and the second one is your full squat. Good. We're going to do one more. Now bring those feet in a little bit closer. Bring those weights right in front, and we're just going to pull them up your body. Good. I want you to think about elbows lifting to the ceiling. Good. So we're trying to work our deltoids. I mean, the elbows have to get up to shoulder height. Good, keep it close to the body. We got two more. Wonderful work. Woo, that's with your happy ways. I love it. Bring those feet back onto that squat position. Take it down for two, up for two. Side, kind of lift one leg and extend. So we just want to work this quad 
right here. It really doesn't have to be super high, but what I'm looking for is a full contraction of that leg. Squeeze, lock that knee out. Squeeze. You're welcome to hold on to something if you need to. Squeeze. Flex that toe in front of you. Good. Bring that toe towards your face. Squeeze. Four. Three. So there's no hip movement. Two. All the knee. Good. We're going to go back to our lateral raises. Good. Be in control. Don't let that leg just flop back. Slow. Think about shoulder blades down your back. Good work. One more on each side. All right, we're going to that other leg. Now keep your hip right where it is. And just extend that knee. Focusing on squeezing that quad. No hip swing, no hip swing. Hold that hip. Good. One 1,000 release. Make sure that toe is flexed towards your face. Good. I want you to get a good contraction there. We're going to finish up with four, three, two, and one. Good. Put those weights down. All right, let's switch it out. that 
toe that's great. Now your weight is just holding out your side. Perfect. We got one more. Now I want you to come to that lunge and pulse. Pulse. Now most of your weight should be in that front leg. Four, three, two, come all the way up. Give me a knee lift. Oh, let's do the other side. Lunge and tap. Now remember, you don't have to stay with me with tempo. Find your own speed. You can go faster, slower. We all have different range of motion. Maybe we need more time to go lower. But I want you to point that toe out in front of you. Shoulders are rolled back, head lifted. See if you get that front knee to bend. Beautiful. Let's finish two more of these. We're gonna pulse it. Good, easy. Three, two, come all the way up to that knee lift. Oh boy. Good, shake it out. Nice job. All right, you still have your heavy weights. We're gonna work on some rowing. If you have to drop down a weight, do, but I'd love to see you try a few with your heavy weights. Okay, come into a split stance. Reach those arms forward and pull. So you're always coming back to this full range of motion right here. Reach and pull. You should be leaning forward slightly so his abs are still pulled in. Four more. Three, two. Now watch this. I'm just going to get lower. Oh my goodness. Single arm pull. So my other hand's just resting. And I'm just working one side. So lean forward. Good. Abs are pulled in tight. Finish two more. And then we're going to stand it all the way up. Switch legs. Give these both arms together. Reach and pull. Good. Good, ladies. Make sure you push it out in front of you. Good. Finish two more. And you're going to get a little bit lower. Slip that back foot back if you can. Single arm right here. Support yourself on that other side. You're leaning forward. After pull up. Good. Don't forget to reach. You gotta get that stretch in there. Good. Four more. Three. Finish one more. Bring those feet together. Palm holds are up. Give you a little knee bend. Now, in this position, I want you to really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good, we're finishing up here with our shoulders. Squeeze. Last four, three, two. All right, we're going to go into some triceps. I'm going to keep my weights. Change if you need to. Elbows come up nice and high, and you're going to extend. Now, you can be in this little mini stance. You can be in a split stance. Whatever feels comfortable for your body. 
So you are looking to get a good squeeze in the back of the arms. Thank you standing on. Right here 
from your hips. Do a little bit more resistance. Jump on the buses. Always free to ride. Never running in the trees. Just drive to that heel. And you push those hips up. And those weights are just resting. Just resting. Just resting. Just resting. Just resting.
body. Good. So it's nice and slow. Perfect. So when you are extending your arm and leg, you probably want to be pushing towards the floor. And you're breathing through the whole exercise. We're going to do one more on each side. And give yourself either a full body stretch or a bear hug, whatever feels the best. And then I want you to grab those weights for your hips. We're going to go back to our bridges. So I'm just putting my weights on my hips and I lift my hips. Tabletop. Extend those arms to the ceiling. 
ceiling. All right, opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, and then switch. So this is a lot slower, but we're still gonna alternate. Point this way, a little bit more time with that isometric contraction. Really focusing again, drive that belly button down to the floor. And there's no breath holding during those two seconds of hold. I breathe. Good. Keep going. Shh. Now we're going to do one more on each side. And then you can give yourself either the bear hug or the full body stretch. <sighs> Why does this one seem so difficult, huh? All right, so you've got your legs straight. I want you to grab your right knee and I want you to come into a spinal twist. So just bring it across your body. See if you can keep your shoulder towards the floor and rotate your spine. Maybe you can get your knee towards the floor. And then once you're in the, the best twist you can, I want you to inhale. And with your exhale, let your body fall into the ground. And then let's bring it back to center and we'll go to the other side. Exhale, see if you can just let everything fall into the ground. Good. We're going to bring it back to center, and I want you to sit or lay, lay with one foot crossed over for your figure four stretch. So you're going to grab between those legs and pull the legs towards you. And I like to kind of rock side to side to feel the best position and the best stretch. You can also try to push that bent knee away from you. Let's do the other side. And then go ahead and release from here and go ahead and sit all the way up. We're going to bring those feet out in front of us and we're going to forward fold. See if you can let your back relax. Maybe you can let your head drop down. Maybe you can grab behind your legs and Pull yourself a little closer. And then slowly come out of here, shake those knees. And bring the soles of the feet together. So here you can sit up very tall, put your hands behind your back. You could grab your toes and lean forward. Trying to keep your knees open and pressing towards the floor. Good. And you're going to open up just one leg. Keep the other one tucked in. And you're going to forward fold towards that leg. 
So I'm looking for you to feel a stretch in your hamstring, the back of your leg. So maybe it is right over the top, or maybe you need to come towards the middle a little bit, kind of play with it and see where your best hamstring stretch is. And in this position, again, you're going to take a deep breath. And when you exhale, see if you can just let that leg relax. And then walk yourself back up, and we'll switch to the other side. And then walk yourself up, have a seat in the most comfortable way that you can. And we're going to stretch our hands behind. Go ahead and just clasp your fingers and open up your chest. And then we're going to release and you're going to reach forward and open up your upper back. See if you can separate your shoulder blades. Good, and release from there. You can just place your hand on the floor and then just drop one ear down to the shoulder. So you're trying to release this shoulder down to the floor so you can get more of a stretch. Good, inhale, exhale, let that head be really heavy. And bring it up and go to the other side. And inhale and exhale. Bring it to center and let's just practice our rotation. I want you to turn and look over your shoulder as far as you can and pull. And release, we'll go to the other side. Bring it back to center. Give me a couple shoulder rolls. 